We are virtualities.co.za, a South African-based research and development company in the 360 Immersive space. Over the past 12 months, we have been at the forefront at creating innovative virtual reality solutions for a variety of brands. Today I'm going to show you some of our innovative stuff that we've done. First thing is this camera. It uses GoPros. We developed a rig. The uh, rig system takes about nine cameras. And um, we did this before Google did it. Uh, this one we also developed ourselves. This one takes uh, six cameras and it allows us to take 360 degree video. We developed this headset for the BBC News. Uh, this headset they basically used for launching the BBC 360 degree videos to their advertisers. We basically using this at the moment for events and activations. So pr we produce these uh, cardboard units locally in South Africa for brands. This is a cool little device. It's called the Leap Motion. When they brought it out, we immediately jumped onto it and we learned how to program it, how to develop software using the Leap Motion. What makes the Leap Motion cool is that you can actually stick your hands into virtual reality. This is seriously high-end virtual reality. And the cool thing about it is um, we are one of the few companies in South Africa that owns the product, but we don't necessarily just use the hardware, but we actually do software development for the HTC Vive. So our company have basically a hardware element to it. We can develop hardware, um, we can manufacture, we can 3D print, we can do all those type of innovating stuff. One of the problems that we have currently is funding to make these things happen. And I think the cool thing about it is that it's a very new technology and there's definitely potential in selling this tech overseas as well as in South Africa. And um, then on the other side, we specialize in software development. We have already uh, developed several solutions for commercial banks like APSA. Uh, we've done an application for DSTV. Um, so this is, this is just some of the cool things and it's actually coming from South Africa. This is a prime example of 2D learning. If I need to know anything about the products in hand, I'll get the infographic, look and read about them. 2D learning is an adopted and learned way of visualizing images and learning about them. In virtual reality, you can have a near mirrored life experience of products. You can experience them in full 3D and interact with them, which is where our edutech comes into play. Virtual learning is the original 3D learning. The primitive way that the mind can perceive objects and understand them. Our value proposition, come and join us in experiencing virtual reality education. So what's cool is this is a 3D object inside my 3D world. And I can turn the object around and I can look at it from different angles. And if I want to see a bigger version, I can just put it to my face. This is one method of teleporting. And here is the bus. What's awesome is that we, here we have the actual bus. So I can go inside the bus and I can look at the steering wheel and the speedometer and the buttons here. Just as if I'm standing in a real bus. The only thing is that this is not a real bus, but it looks like a real bus. It's in virtual reality. So here I'm looking at a, a desk. Um, it's part of the virtual reality classroom. So I just pick this up and I pull it to my face. One of the awesome things about virtual reality is I am standing in a classroom right now. And for me, this classroom looks real. So this could very well be the future of education. So there's no need for this type of infrastructure as long as it exists in virtual reality. This is a practical example of how we can generate 360 environments and allow learners to interact with objects in their 3D form without actually having access to these objects. The great thing about this technology is it's limitless in its ability to create and also of what students can experience. Our value proposition is simple. Join us on this journey for educational technology and let's see how far we can take virtual learning.